First up on the country hour though, Australian biosecurity officers are working to trace the source of a new detection of cucumber green mottle mosaic virus to a Queensland watermelon farm. The cucurbit virus was detected last Friday in a consignment of fresh watermelons exported to New Zealand and led to that country immediately suspending all exports from Queensland. The exotic disease is a seed-borne virus which can cause plants to entirely die. It was last detected in the state in early 2017 and was first found as an incursion in the Northern Territory in 2014. Growcom's manager for biosecurity, Janine Clark, tells Dreddy Gunders the organisation has immediately reviewed its monitoring plan for the virus. Cucumber green model mosaic was once, uh, uh, not too long ago, uh, an exotic plant pest, but it has unfortunately been deemed unable to be eradicated. Uh, it was found in 2014 in the Northern Territory and um, unfortunately there were too many um, incidences of it. It got away before it had been discovered, I believe. So they have uh, determined that um, it's not feasible to eradicate it. We did have one um, uh, occurrence of green model mosaic virus here in Queensland. I believe that was based in Charters Towers. And uh, because it was only an isolated incident, uh, the Queensland Government decided that they would continue towards the pathway of eradication. So it is a notifiable pest and um, we would encourage all growers to be very vigilant in light of what has happened uh, to the, the shipment over in New Zealand. And um, yeah, so report any sort of suspected findings to the um, uh, appropriate authorities in your area. Does this detection throw a spanner in the works of that hope of eradicating CGMMV from Queensland? Uh, at this stage, not necessarily, because the tracebacks have not been completed and we don't know exactly where it has come from or what the source is. So until that point, uh, there's no point in speculating on that. I imagine a lot of Kiwis would be eating Queensland watermelons generally over the summer months. What does this mean in terms of our trade with New Zealand? Well, it is peak season for melons at the moment into the New Zealand market, and that's one of our prime targets for that produce. Um, so uh, at the moment, the New Zealand government has held a number of different consignments at the port for either destruction or on shipping to further destinations where um, the, the, the disease or protocol is not uh, an issue for them. Um, so, yeah, it will mean that uh, either the... Um, they miss out on the Australian produce. Um, of course, it's only from Queensland that this is banned at present, so it doesn't affect any of the other states. So any other states that are shipping to New Zealand, as long as they have followed the appropriate protocols, will be uh, able to get their, their produce in. This suspension affects all cucurbit exports from Queensland, as you mentioned. That includes you know, other cucurbits such as cucumbers and zucchinis. Once they have determined where this has come from, is it likely that that ban will at least be lifted from for, for other cucurbits that, that aren't affected in this case? Well, at the present point in time, I think they're looking at whether or not they can do proof farm freedom for some consignments that are already sitting there. So they haven't come from the initial farm where it was suspected that the um, uh, virus originated. So that's probably a matter more for the state government or the federal government to determine as far as um, whether or not that will that you know, will be uh, able to be lifted and, and go forward. So it depends on the, the outcome of their actions and their findings. You touched on this a little bit earlier, but what is your strong message to growers, especially since at this stage they don't know exactly where this outbreak has been, or the detection has been, rather? Sure. OK, well, there is a... Um a management plan that is uh, documented. It's on the Ausveg website and can be uh, easily obtained there. And we would encourage growers to reacquaint themselves with that management plan, to be exceedingly vigilant on the signs and symptoms of cucumber green model mosaic virus, and of course uh, report any findings that they suspect to the chief plant health manager in their area. And it's probably worth pointing out for the sake of consumers too that there, there's no harm for consumers from this virus. Correct, correct. So the plant virus is only something that affects the plants themselves. It does not necessarily affect, um, well, the quality of food obviously can 
can it can deteriorate the food if you leave it there too long. But if you were to um, eat it, it's not going to affect people. It's not a virus or a, a disease that would affect people. A plant virus only. Janine Clark, who's the biosecurity manager for horticulture organisation Growcom. And the Department of Ag estimates 15 melon consignments have been quarantined in New Zealand. It's 10 past 12.